Welcome. In this tutorial, we will verify the functionality of the user project after integrating it with Caravel. We will walk you through the process of developing and running a Cocoa TB based test bench for a Caravel user project. As a starter, we will install the required dependencies for running Cocoa TB. Most likely, you have already installed all the requirements if you run make setup after cloning Caravel user project. If not, you will just need to run pip install caravel coco tb and manually include the required information in file design underscore info dot yaml. Now that we have our dependencies installed, let's move on to the discussing our testing strategy. In this tutorial, we'll be focusing on monitoring the timer outputs. Since it doesn't need any inputs rather than the clock and reset signals, the testing should be straightforward. The timer outputs consist of two variables the 7 underscore seg 8-bit output, which has the value of the segment, and the digit enable 4-bit uh, output, which that determines which segment from the four segments should have the segment value. To test these two outputs effectively, we'll follow a specific strategy. The first step will be to reset the design and monitor the outputs at the Caravel I.O. pads. The second step will check the output values for each output and make sure the timer is increasing sequentially. With our testing strategy in place, it's time to implement the tests. The test bench should have three main parts, the monitor, the checker, and the test itself. The monitor would monitor any change happened at the dot outputs and notify the checker with the change. The checker would check the results detected by the monitor. Lastly, the test would drive the clock and reset and connect the monitor with the DUT and the checker. Let's start by implementing the monitor. The monitor is implemented as a Python class called Segment Monitor. The main function of the monitor is to watch the relevant IOs at the Caravel interface and return a new value if any IO value is changed. As you can see, the class consists of three functions. The segment change function has the most logic. The function first waits until one of the output values is changed then reads the output values and returns them as digit number and digit value. Next, we have the checker. Just for demonstration, we've chosen a graphic screen that mimics a seven segment display. Here, the checking is done visually for the sake of showing the results. The checker class is called GUI screen and it uses the Python library tkinter. The code is purely a Python that takes input and converts it to a GUI. Finally, let's create the test itself. Caravel test consists of two parts, firmware and the Python test bench. The firmware is written C, and it is the program that will be running on the CPU of the management SOC. The Python test bench is used to monitor and drive signals of the Caravel chip, just like the normal Verilog and system Verilog test benches. In our case, we won't need to use the firmware because the wishbone isn't connected yet, so we'll just add dummy code to keep the CPU running. Let's dive into the IOs for the Python test. The code for the IOs is quite simple. We set up the necessary decorator for the CocoDB tests called the test underscore configure function to power the Caravel and reset it, initialize the checker GUI screen, and loop over the monitor changes to update the GUI. All test files should be placed under the CocoDB directory in Caravel user project. You can find this directory in Verilog DV CocoDB. One last step to do is to import the new test in the file cocotb underscore test.py. We added a test named 7 underscore seg, so we should import it like so. The includes file for the RTL should be updated. These exist under the includes directory. It's time to run it and see the results. Navigate to the cocotb directory and run the following command, caravel underscore cocodb dash t seven underscore seg dash macros capital use underscore part underscore one. The dash t flag specifies the test name or names and the dash macros flag allows you to pass any necessary macros to the Verilog design. In this case, we're using part one of the RTL, so we pass the macro use underscore part underscore one. Then the test will start and the GUI will show the current time detected by the monitor.
For more information on how to add a test to your project and implement the Python and C APIs, please refer to the Caravel underscore Coco TV read the docs. In the next video, we'll look at how to run physical implementation of the design using OpenLane. Thank you.